Hello. All right, everyone. We're going to start with Madison Smith first. Madison, three games in. How do you feel about the team's progress so far? Um, I feel good. You know, we um we're picking up what we're supposed to do defensively. You know, um, helping each other in the gaps and just you know moving the ball on offense and taking good shots. You know, it comes as the game goes on. You know, we have our highs and lows, but we're getting there. Big game from uh, Kylie today. Uh, is this the type of I guess like scoring potential you guys kind of saw from her in the preseason? Oh yeah, Kylie. I remember in the summer, like I knew that she could score the ball. You know, at all levels under the basket. You know, she could shoot the three ball. Like she's a great player, and I love playing with her. She's gonna be good. What I guess kind of specifically did you see from her today that might have been different from the first two games, or was it just maybe she was more comfortable today? Um. Yeah, I think she was really comfortable. Um under the basket posting up she was really posting hard and, that, and we really emphasized that throughout practice um this whole week well these couple days preparing for this game um and she really um did that in this game today and we got her the ball and she finished well Matt, when, when she comes in uh i guess she gets in here over the summer uh like what was your first impression like do you remember the first time you like met her talked to her uh you know what and then, you know, your first impression of, you know, seeing her out on the court. Yeah, um, Kylie's a great, she's a great person. She's a nice girl um, on the court. Uh, I just knew, like, she got she got that, like, KD-type player. You know, she can dribble the ball. She can shoot threes. You know, she can get to the basket. Like, that's hard to guard. That's really hard to guard. And, you know, I'm excited to be able to play with her throughout the season and, you know, see what she can give us this year. What do you expect to learn this week ahead as you guys obviously go on a lengthy road trip and play a couple quality opponents here um you know we haven't played a team that's you know gonna really punch punch us in the face you know um so i'm it's exciting to be able to um play some good competition um no not to this last team we just played um they're a great team too but you know just play a higher higher level team that's exciting to be able to um play and just playing on the road um, you know, seeing how we can do with that. It's interesting you say that because the men's team uses those exact words. You play a team that punches in the mouth. So is that kind of anxiety when you play your first Power Five opponent uh, in the season? Um, I wouldn't say anxiety. I've been here before. You know, I'm I'm just excited to play. You know, play some um, really good competition and see what we can do with that. Is it a good thing for this team to have this trip upcoming, considering? Not only new coach, but all the new faces, and you're still kind of in the gelling stages. Is this kind of a good potential, maybe bonding yeah. type of deal? Or? Yeah, this is definitely a good bonding um, experience for us. You know, we have like three or four days in Cancun before we, you know, start playing. So it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Have you ever been to Mexico before? Yeah, I actually, we went my sophomore year, I think. Yeah. Are you excited to get away from the snow? Oh yeah, I am trying to be on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Maddie, uh, overall team shooting, is it a, a sense of getting good shots that just aren't dropping, or are the shots maybe not the shots you guys want? I mean, kind of, kind of take me through the, through the shooting so far. Yeah, um, it's a little bit of everything. Um, sometimes we take tough, quick shots, and those don't fall, and sometimes those do fall. And then sometimes, you know, we get good shots and then those don't fall or sometimes they do fall. But, you know, right now they're not really falling for us. But, we, you know, we're going to get in the gym and we're going to keep shooting and keep working on it. And then kind of off that, it, and this is something you've experienced before, it's kind of nice to have a defense to kind of fall back on. Yeah. When, when the shots aren't going. Anymore. Right. Yeah. If um, shots aren't falling, we got to be able to make up or, up for it on defense and you know be able to push the ball in transition, get out and score layups. Layups are easier than threes. You've been playing with Jayla for three years. This year, I mean, small sample size, but it seems like she's been very consistent for you guys mm -hmm. so far this season. Where have you seen her improve, and what are her strengths this year? Um, I think she's really improving, like, driving to the basket and being under control, you know, taking her time under the rim and just, you know, as a leader, you know, talking more also. You know, she's improving at all levels of her game. Kind of in that vein, you, JJ, and Jayla are kind of, to borrow a term from the pros, like the big three of the team, obviously, mm -hmm. the experience mm -hmm. and, and the chemistry. Can you kind of take me through that? What's, what's that chemistry like and how familiar are you guys with each other's game? Yeah, um, we're really familiar. We played with each other a lot last year. Um, 
you know, we're still working, still trying to get the kinks out, you know, trying to figure out where we're going to be. But, you know, when we turn it up on defense, that's going to be scary for other teams. And, you know, getting out of transition, like you saw today, it was a lot of, you know, layups and stuff like that. So we can get that going a lot more.